Welcome to video six of Be an Innovator with Dynamic Pages, our very final video of this series. As you know, we are going step by step to build a smart, dynamic record page from start to finish. So watch all of these videos, share your progress online, and get a chance to win some fun prizes. All right, so in video five, we continue to make changes to our record page so that it can be dynamic based on our user. For video six, we are talking about the last step in the process. So putting those final, final finishing touches on our page, activating it, and then talking about rollout best practices. All right, so I'm super excited to go chat with architect out of an evangelist, Leanne Rimel, about how we can do that. Let's go talk to her. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Leanne. And welcome to video six of being an innovator with Dynamic Pages. Yay! can't believe we've um, you know gone through this whole journey and we're at the end of building this one amazing powerful dynamic smart page that can do just so much right this is a page that shows data dynamically whether based on the user what field values are on the page and even what device the user is using so essentially we're able to give users the right information at the right time so let's talk about you know let's go back to two weeks ago when we first started this journey. Um, and before, you know, before we want to implement this and roll this out to our users, we want to make sure that we are solving their needs. So Leah, have we done this? <laughs> yeah, so I can't believe it was two weeks ago. So we talked about how important it was to build individual pages that were going to serve a lot of needs and a lot of users. And we did that. We did that, like you said, by creating a dynamic page that was filtering based on who was viewing it. And we did that when we were filtering on user profile. We also made this page really useful and efficient to what information was on the page. So what kind of work was that user doing? Because when we use those page value filters, then we're really making one page perform differently and reflect different information and functionality based on information from that individual record. So that's something you can do throughout Salesforce. Now, we also always want to be cognizant when we think about user experience of being conscious of the real estate that they're working with, the device that they're working with. Mm -hmm. And so we did that with our device filtering. Now, there is a ton that you can do with dynamic pages. And this is just scratching the surface. I mean, we, we saw these awesome pages being built and we cannot wait to see what more you all build because this is really just scratching the surface of how do you start to build these single pages that are serving a lot of needs. And as an admin, that is such a huge efficiency gain for us. We're able to build these really fast performant pages Instead of having to manage like multiple pages in multiple places, we can build these individual pa pages that serve a lot of needs for our users. So it's pretty exciting stuff. I love building these pages. Yeah, definitely. I really, I am loving seeing all the different page designs. I feel like, you know, as admins, this is us showcasing our artistic side, being able to design um, these really efficient, amazing pages. So what is next in our journey? Are we done? Do we just leave now, pick up and leave, or what <laughs> well, should we do next? There's some things we always want to make sure we're doing when we're building a lightning page or an app page or when we're building an app page. And we're going to do that. First, we're going to make sure it's activated, right? So maybe you've been building this in draft or you've been building this as you go and, and not yet, you know, rolling it out for your users. So it's important to consider that user experience when you activate this page as well. So if you maybe have a smaller business or there's not as many users and you want all of your users to have this single page and then you're fine tuning within the page, then you should make this page your org-wide default. But you mm. might also maybe have fine tuned this page for different subsets of sales users, right? And so that's where maybe you would have it assigned to your sales profiles or assigned to the app that your sales users use. So you can control who can access this page. There's a lot of levels of granular control as an admin that you have. To, to define who has access to this page and when to make sure you're giving your users the best experience. You wanna make sure you activate the page and you wanna be cognizant of where are you activating this page for? Are you setting it as the page for everybody or are you setting it as a page for a specific app or specific set of users? 
Yes, I feel like the layers have gotten deeper, right? Now we have all these different controls of how we can show the page and even the data on the page to different users. So it's definitely a lot more to think about before you roll out your page. Exactly. Um, cool. So are there any other considerations that we should be thinking about, um, you know, in general for page design and especially for when we're rolling it out and we're trying mm -hmm. to understand how useful and successful our page was? Yeah. And that's a great question. So first, there's definitely other considerations. Um, we've got in the trail mix a link to a help and training page that has a ton of app builder considerations. Um, things to consider, like if you're adding a lot of components to the page, maybe you want to have some of those components be on a tab so that they don't automatically load when the user loads the page every time, right? And so things like that, if there's, if there's parts of the page that your users aren't going to as often, maybe considering tabs is one example, being conscious of what template you're using, um, thinking about that page performance to make sure those pages are loading fast for your users and they're able to get the information they want right away. So there's definitely considerations as we all go out and build these great user experiences to keep in mind. And we have, this is, this is an area too where we have tools to help you make sure you're gathering that feedback. So definitely you want to think about if you're rolling out any new functionality, how do you survey your users? I would say we've got tools to monitor and I'll talk mm -hmm. about those in a moment, but the most important thing you can do is talk to your users. So that sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> always listen to your users. Yeah. As Mike Gerholt says, Sabwa, Salesforce administration by walking around. I think in the digital world, I think that we can have tools that we do, like sending out surveys, asking for feedback. Um, I'm a big fan of having a chatter group internally at your company where people can ask questions about Salesforce and where you can roll out, you know, maybe broadcast notifications like, hey, check out this new report I made for you or check out this new page I made for you. So I definitely think it's important to have a conscious way that you're surveying your users, whether that's sending out an actual survey form or maybe using a chatter group or just pinging your power users and asking them for feedback. Talk to them, hear from them, especially when you're rolling out new functionality. Also, you can track this. So we've got an optimization badge that's linked here in our trail mix. And this will walk you through how to create a report that lets you actually monitor your lightning page usage. So this is a super useful tool as well, just to see, are people using this page? Are they staying on this page? How performant is this page? So I definitely recommend, of course, earning that badge and blazing that trail and learning more about how you can track lightning performance in your environment. Wow, awesome. Thank you, Leanne. That's some great information right there that I am taking note of for when I'm building my awesome um, lightning pages. So this has been a lot uh, to learn and it's been a really fun journey and we've loved seeing all of the creativity with building these dynamic pages and we look forward to seeing um, the finished product of your pages. Um, so thank you Leanne and thanks, see you next time. Yeah, thanks to all of you who joined. Can't wait to see your pages. See you next time. Thank you, Leanne, for bringing us home and sharing those best practices for how we can roll out our final record page. Uh, all right, so my key takeaways from our final video are one, that we wanna revisit our original requirements and make sure that we're solving our users' needs. Two, we wanna test drive this new page with some super users and get their feedback. And then three, we want to incorporate all of that feedback, make some final tweaks, and roll it out to our users. All right, so now it's your turn. Uh, share a screenshot of your final, your finished product, your beautiful, dynamic, smart page, and share that with us on Twitter using the hashtag be an innovator and hashtag sweepstakes to enter to win. All entries for video six must be completed and tweeted to us with the hashtag by 10 a.m. May 22nd, 2020. Restrictions do apply, so see the rules for details. And then if you haven't already, make sure to complete all of those badges in the trail mix to round out your learning. And then I just wanna say thank you for joining us in this amazing adventure to build a smart dynamic record page uh, from start to finish. I really hope you enjoyed it and that you're starting to think about how you can customize your record pages um, to improve the user uh, experience and help your users be more productive. We do ask that you please, please, please provide us feedback by filling out the survey so that we can continue to improve these adventures and continue to produce them. 
Um, you can find the survey in the Trillamix, it's the last step. And then with that, I am done. I am going to go order myself a care package and I encourage you to do the same. See you next time in the cloud. Awesome man, man.